Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today. And this is a Timo haul. Yay! So we are now uh, the grey bags are still with the Timo logo on the bottom. So yeah, we'll uh, have a look and see what we got this time. There's a few diamond painting bits and a few other bits as well. Um, I actually put this order in because I had that credit to use. Uh, I just find it's easy, um, if you remember my last unbox, in uh, it did have some Christmas uh, items in it and a couple of them were broken so rather than getting a refund on those items I said oh just add them back to my account it's just so much quicker so yeah I got them added back in and I thought oh over Christmas I'll just go and have a look and see what there is and these are the bits and pieces that I've got so let's get into it and have a look there are quite a few items but it's not as big as some of my other hauls that I've had not the first one anyway but yeah, he's still very popular, I've noticed everybody's still buying from Timo. So let's see what we got. We have, oh, a mystery packet, okay. And, oh, a diamond painting thing, okay. Oh my goodness, how small is that? <laughs> right, I'll put the diamond painting things on one side and uh, we'll have a look at those last. Um, oh, that's some hair scrunchies, so we'll have a look at those. And, oh, we've got a comb, yes. And some more scrunchies. I uh, use hair scrunchies an awful lot. Uh, oh, another mystery packet, okay. And, oh, we've got a brush show, and of course they're hot pink, yay. <laughs> See what else I've got in here. Oh, I'm saying it's not a big haul, but oh, all right, okay, and a box. All right. And another diamond painting item. Okay, that's a lot smaller than I expected as well. Oh dear. Uh, right, what's this? What's this? This is a box. Uh, this is a diamond painting box. So I'm not quite sure what that one was. So we'll have a look at that. And we've got another item there. Oh, right, okay, yep. Yeah. So that's sort of diamond painting-ish. So we'll have a look at that. And then I've got the holder. I think that's everything. And a nice empty bag. Okay, so let's put the diamond painting things out of the way for the moment. And I'll class that as diamond painting as well. Yeah, I've got another one of these folders. Okay. And right, let's have a quick look at these bits and pieces then and see what we've got. Uh, I've printed out what ten. Um, I ordered so I can see how much everything costs so I can tell you as we go along. Uh, these are actually uh, self-adhesive cork mats and there's a set of 30 here. So I thought as I'm doing coasters, the ones that don't come with the cork mats, I can put a little cork mat on the back. These aren't overly thick, to be fair, they're probably only... I would think just over a millimetre. I don't even think they're quite two millimetres thick, these. So they're not uh, any great shakes for stopping um, heat going through onto a table or something if you're using it as um, a coaster. I suppose you could always put two together just to make it that little bit thicker. What did I pay for these? Uh, oh, £2.98 for 30 Oh, well, they're not out of the way price then if you did want to you know, put two together just to make it that little bit thicker. I think the ones that you do get with um, your coasters too tend to be sort of that thick rather than just that single thickness there. So, yeah, so we've got 30 of those. I thought I'd better get some more because I have got a lot of coasters still to do. I have done quite a few, but uh, all the ones that I was doing as Christmas presents ha, didn't get done. So that is those. Okay. I think you can see that this is a hairbrush. Ooh, what's that in the middle of it? Let me have a look. It's a detangler brush for natural hair. Oh, is that to clean it with? Oh, I think that's a cleaner. Oh, I think we've got um, an extra bit there to uh, clean it out. And maybe, or is it broken? Oh, no, it's, oh, that's different look. It's all separate with it being a detangler. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a hairbrush like that before. That's really odd. That's really strange. Ooh, okay. Uh, the price of this was £1.48. It says uh, it's a detangler brush for natural hair. 
So I'm guessing they mean for like uh, unpermed hair, you know, if you've got permed hair or really curly hair. Um, but I would have thought detanglers work on curly hair. Don't know, I'll have to try it on the granddaughters, although I'm sure if I went near them with this, they'd probably run a mile. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's um, a cleaner for getting hair out of the brush. So, okay, but I think for the price, that's okay. Yeah, and I say I do like the colour. <laughs> so we'll put that there. So that's okay. And then I got a detangling comb as well. Um, I'm not sure how well this will work, but we'll see. Because I do uh, wash my hair. I do wash my hair mainly in the shower, and uh, I have a detangling comb that I've had for oh, must be over twenty years, possibly longer. Um, and it's starting to look a little bit rough and ready now. So I thought I'll try a, a different one because I do like to, once I've taken, I put conditioner on my hair, I do like to, before I get out the shower, sort of like comb it out um, and then, you know, rinse the conditioner out so that uh, I can use it. But I don't know whether this will work or not. I'll give it a go and see. I do like the shape of it though. This is like a peachy colour. I'm sure I did order pink, but this is more of a sort of peachy orangey colour. And the price of that was 98 pence. So, you know, for the money, it's worth a try. That's okay. So that's something else a little bit different. Um, I've got two lots of hair scrunchies. So I got these, which were 77 pence. And then these larger ones, which are £1.47. I do tend to find that the elastic goes eventually in these. So, oh, actually, they're quite a nice big size, aren't they? And these are like a sort of faux velvety material, quite nice and soft. So, yeah, they don't slip in your hair quite so much. So what have I got? I've got four of those for uh, £1.47 and there's some quite good elastic on those as well. So, yeah, because I do actually, um, I do wash them in the washing machine as well, all my scrunchies. Because uh, I do think if you're putting it around your hair every day, it's going to get a little bit grubby. And, you know, if you're like going out and walking through a city or something, um, you get sort of like all the car fumes and everything on them. Or if you're around anybody that smokes, it can pick up a smoking uh, smell. So, yeah, I do like to put them in the washing machine. So they look pretty good. OK. And then I've just got the little smaller ones as well, which are a little bit smaller than I was expecting. I know when it said small, I was expecting them to be small, but mm. so they're large and they're small. Well, I suppose, yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to work out uh, where this opens. <laughs> Playing for time while I work out how to open the packet. Okay, so this is a set of six, yeah, six piece silky scrunchies, women, 77 pence. So, oh yeah, they are quite small. They're more like just a... Um, a hair tie with just a little bit of material around so yeah but they may be okay these are sort of ones that if I've just got my hair down um, I always like to just carry one in my handbag just in case if it gets really windy or I get really hot and um, with having longer hair I tend to find that the back of my neck can get quite warm so sometimes I just like to tie my hair up so I always carry an emergency hair tie with me so yeah oh sweet girl they're called as well thank you very much i'll take that i'll be a sweet girl i don't mind <laughs> okay so let's see what this is then oh let me get my scissors i'm not gonna fight with bags today i can't be doing with fighting with bags you can just be opened with a pair of scissors so this is Oh, okay. Right. Um, it's a light. It's sort of a crystal light. Ah, right. I've read it wrongly. I mean, for the price, I should have known. Okay, so one pound nine pence this was. Uh, let's just take the little tab out. It is a, a light up one, so I'm just going to turn it on. Ooh, that's quite pretty. So, oh, I know what I did. Yeah, you can get sets of them. Um, but they were sort of a higher price and I did think oh well if I don't like it or it doesn't look right then uh, no I don't want a lot of them so I've ordered just the one at one pound and nine pence um, just to see what they're like but actually that is quite pretty and that's quite a nice glow to it 
because I do find with the diamond painting, sometimes I like to put uh, one on the mantelpiece and put a candle behind it. But obviously you can't put a lit flame behind a diamond painting. Plastic and uh, lit flames, uh, but naked flames just do not go. So yeah, something like this is quite nice. So yeah, um, it does show the innards a little bit, but not too much because it's like faceted on the outside like faceted crystal it is all plastic of course and i do like the fact that the flame is uh actually this shape as well and it's all got te texture on it like a flame so yeah i think that's pretty good i'll just turn it on again yeah i think that's uh, for one pound nine piece so i might get a few more of those again with the uh, exchange rate they might go under a pound or they might go over a pound but yeah i think that's uh, quite a hit there quite pleased with that one Right, let's have a look in this other mystery packet and see what this one is. It's amazing. I always think Timo and sites like that are full of things that you didn't know you needed until you see them. <laughs> ah, right, okay. These are my gold and silver chrome paint markers. So I just thought while I'm doing my diamond painting, sometimes I may just want to add a little bit of gold or silver colour to something. Um, and these are quite nice. I think these work on mirrors and things as well. Uh, what price were these? Let me have a look on my little list. So it's a two-piece chrome mar marker for mirrors. It says £3.14. So, yeah, I mean, to be fair, for the price of them, um, they are uh, a really good price because these are quite expensive. You can pay £5 for one of these pens. So to get to, they are a little bit smaller than some of the ones you can get. Let's have a go with the pen, see if I can. Right, so you have to... Uh... I've got anything I can put it on. Oh, I'll just do it on this packet for now. I know it's a bit of a waste, but you have to sort of push the nib in and just prime the pen as it were to start off with so that the ink comes down onto the pen. Give them a bit of a shake as well. They have got ball bearings in them. Um, well, that's not working very well. Okay. Uh, to be honest, I would put the lid on before shaking it. That's probably a daft thing to do, particularly with me, with being there. Uh, so give it a bit of a shake. Yeah, I think you're supposed to keep them uh, that way. So let me have a go with the silver one, see if this one's any better. If they don't work, then I will ask for a refund. But let's see. Yeah, there just doesn't seem to be anything coming down onto the nib of that pen. Because uh, normally with these sort of things, you just need to prime them and get the paint to come down. Ah, it is starting to come down now, look. We are just starting to get a little bit of silver. So, okay, yeah. Oh, well, that one works. So, yeah, you can see, look, we've got the silver on the nib. Okay. So, let's see if we can get the gold one working then. It's just starting to come down the nib. Yeah. I've never had one that's taken this long. Oh, it is just starting to come down now. I think that means there's not an awful lot in these pens, to be fair. So that's possibly why they are a little bit cheaper. This is still not coming fully down. It is just starting to now. So, yeah, but the gold's nowhere near as good as the silver. Oh, it's starting to come down now, look. Now oh, that's better. Okay. So, yeah, they do both work. But as I say, I think because it's taking so long for it to uh, get onto the nib that there's possibly not a huge amount in there. But if you're just wanting them for small jobs, make sure that you do click the lid fully on so that they don't dry out as well. Chrome paint marker, high gloss liquid chromium, I think that says. Okay, yep, so that's the two pens. So they're okay. Not brilliant, but they're okay. Right, pop those in the bin. And then the last thing I've got is this little light. And I thought I would give this a go. It's an under cupboard light. Uh, under cabinet LED light, it says £2.48. And they're supposed to just sort of like, oh, it's a USB, so that's pretty good. Clip underneath somewhere. Oh, it's very small. 
so that you just get that extra bit of light now then. So where does it switch on? <laughs> where do, oh, the USB goes in that end there. So does it have to be, oh, this is going to be a nuisance if it has to be plugged in all the time. Oh my goodness, how long is that wire? Uh, I'll have to try and find a different wire to this. Oh goodness me. All right, just as I'm about to plug it into the USB to charge it, I've just noticed. <laughs> you as a error, there is a little switch at this end, so I'm just going to turn this on now. Oh, that is quite nice and bright. Actually, that's uh, quite good. Yeah, it's quite a uh, good bright light. It's uh, And it's like a daylight type bulb as well, quite a white bulb. So, yeah, it's just something, I mean, I suppose to be fair, you don't have to, although you've got your little sticky pads and these look like they're magnetic. Yes, they are. Um, oh, what have we got then? So we've got two sort of sticky pads and then two magnetic pads. So you could use it as a torch. Um, actually, this would be quite handy for when Millie goes out into the garden because with her being a Scottish Terrier, she's black. And if she gets into the far corners of the garden, I can't see her. But using this, I can maybe use it as a torch. And uh, yeah, OK. So £2.48. Mm. They actually had them on the um, pictures showing them all underneath the kitchen cupboards as though they were great big long things, which you just know they're not going to be really big lights for £2.48. But I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, OK. So is it just... Oh, hang on. We've got two so does it go brighter then no that looks exactly the same to me maybe i'm better, better off looking at it on a night but yeah okay so that's not bad and it's actually got a little um thing there for hanging it on a nail or something as well so yeah okay so that's sort of a hit that's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> yeah you've definitely got to have it near a usb plug to get that uh, yeah it's a good job it does recharge whether it'll last very long or not i don't know has it got a cover on it as well has it got a plastic cover on let me look yeah half of it i don't know if you can see that half of it has got like a dust cover on it but it only goes as far as round as there so it's not uh, been overly useful to do it that way but i'll see if i can get that off later on how strange <laughs> You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> right, let's get rid of the bits. So I'll pop that back in the box for now. Okay. And we'll have a look at the good stuff, the diamond paintings. Right, so I got another one of these diamond painting folders, mainly because they have a really good thick spine at the end. Uh, they hold 30 pieces of art and I just think these are really good for completed diamond paintings, mainly special drill diamond paintings. Those pens are going to roll off there. Stay there. I've got too much on my desk now. Um, 30 pockets in here, 15 on each side of the middle. And it does have a handle. They are top loading though, or side loading. They're not like the really good art dot ones where you... Uh, load them from the middle and um, they're nowhere near the quality of those but uh, just for storing my special drill diamond paintings like for christmas ones that i've done that i want to put away um or for you know smashing the specials then i thought yeah these would be uh, pretty good just for putting those away and doing that so that's why i've got this one um, so I've got a pink one and then I've got this blue one. It was £9.89, so not a bad price. Uh, one of the pages in my other one has caught and ripped a little bit. As I say, they're not... They're okay quality. I wouldn't say they're the brilliant quality. But for what I want to use it for, um, that's the price I was just prepared to pay for it. And that's great. So, yes, I've got another one of those folders. thought I might as well while I was putting the order in. So, yeah, really yeah, nice. They're an A3 size, so they'll take your 30 by 40 diamond paintings and your 30 by 30 diamond paintings as well. So this is just mainly for completions and I say mainly special drill ones. Let's have a look now at the diamond painting ones. Oh, my goodness me. 
So everything's a lot smaller than I was expecting. I don't normally say that. I usually say everything's bigger than I expected. Right, the first one is this one, which I've not seen this one anywhere else. Um, so I thought I will get this. I've not seen it on any of the sites. And this is a tree full of little owls. Oh, that one looks like it's smiling. Oh, wow. <laughs> this was £6.29. So it is only a small... Uh, tree again so they seem to be um you're getting things now that are just that little bit smaller which is why that they are a slightly lesser price than other places uh, but yeah it's practically full drill nearly the whole of this tree with the blossom and all the little owls is fully covered uh, i know there's I think once you get your gems on, it will practically be fully covered. Oh, look, I didn't realise. We've got mum and baby up there. Look, oh, that's really sweet. Really little teeny tiny one. So, yeah, we've got different types of owls as well. That one just, let's say, because of where they've put the beak, it just looks like it's sat there smiling at you out of the hole in the tree there. So, yeah, that one looks like a snow owl. Um, these are possibly barn owls and then these look like eagle owls because they've got like the ears on them they're not ears it's just the way the feathers are I'm not quite sure what that one is maybe a white faced owl uh, no that's definitely a snow owl so yeah very very nice so I do like it I just thought it was a bit different and I do like my owls pen button wax standard little toolkit oh and that's different okay so the little base, which is a nice thick wooden base, so we're not having to put two pieces of anything together. It's a good wooden base. Uh, it is actually a fully diamond painted. So yay! Actually, it's crystals as well. I expected this one would actually come as just normal sort of acrylic drills, but actually it is all crystals. Oh, okay. So it's going to really be sparkly as well. Let's give it a quick measure. Uh, what do we reckon? About six or seven inches. Maybe seven inches. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> tape measure's fighting back. Oh, actually, it's eight inches. Okay, 20 centimetres, eight inches. So it is a little bit bigger than I expected. Maybe because there's so much detail, it makes it look a bit smaller. Uh, by about seven and a quarter inches which is about 18 and a half centimeters and the base is 12 centimeters four and three quarter inches by three and a quarter inches uh eight centimeters so yeah actually it's bigger than i thought then so but no, it's still, I would love it if it had been a really big one, you know, like my uh, advent tree that I got at Christmas that I never did get done. Oh dear, never mind. Uh, so yeah, so nice uh, painting that one. Say for £6, it's not bad, is it? What's it say? £6.29, so £6.30-ish. Look at the gems. Ooh, lots of specials. So we are, how many colours have we got? Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different gems and colours. Just looking to see what the numbers are on them. I think that these packets have actually got uh, crystal numbers on them because that's an M27 and that's an S002. So I might see if the numbers on the packets, I'll have to remember to try and keep the packets, uh, actually relate to uh, the crystal codes that I use for my kitting down. Yeah, because these have got numbers, look, uh, 2311613. Okay, so that'll be interesting to see how that works out. Right, so we start off with a nice clear crystal and like a limey green crystal and a bronzy colour. And a very, very pale sort of brownie bronzy colour. And that's like a greyy colour there. And a little bit of a honey gold there. Pale green and your standard black. And a yellow gold. And then teardrops in like a honey gold. Little teeny tiny, tiny. teardrops in like a lilac colour. And in that little pink colour there, more little teeny tiny teardrops. And some marquees in your lavender colour 
and then those marquees that don't have any facets on uh, in that pale pink colour. So they look really like glass rather than just acrylic. So very pretty. Okay, so the flowers are going to be very pretty because otherwise, if it didn't have the flowers on just for that pop of colour, then actually it's quite um, dullish because owls are obviously a dullish colour and the tree bark is quite prominent on this one. So it's going to be very pretty just having that uh, little pop of colour on the edges, on the leaves. Pretty that one. I do like this one. I'm pleased I got it. So that one is a definite thumbs up. We like that one. Okay, pop you out of the way. Now then, this one... <laughs> £6.29 the same price and it's a bunny wreath and that is the smallest wreath I have ever seen or ever had that is just hysterical that is just so funny uh, yeah I mean I was maybe expecting sort of maybe a nine um, or a 10 inch wreath I didn't expect a great big 10 in, uh, 12 inch wreath for sort of like £6 but I certainly didn't think I was going to get one that size. I mean, when you compare it to sort of the owls for the same price, yeah. <laughs> you live and learn, as the saying goes. So we have pen book wax. Oh, and it's exceptionally flimsy. My goodness, that is ever so thin. If you can see sort of the thing there. That's probably about two millimetres thick, so it's very pliable, I suppose. Uh, I mean, this is exceptionally cute. You know, don't get me wrong, I do, I do like the picture of it. Um, but yeah, if I'd have known it was that small, possibly I might not have got it. I don't know. I do like my wreaths, but I, <laughs> I've had one that small before. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and it is just a standard chain as well and a very basic uh, lobster claw clasp on it so it's not like it's uh, anything special there either. Uh, quite a smallish chain as well to be fair, let me just move that box a second. Let's do some measurements. <laughs> so the chain is, I'll, oh, well, I'll do from the end of the lobster claw clasp so we'll give it a chance. Uh, oh, I suppose it's not too bad. It's 15 inches, which is 38 centimetres. And then the wreath is five and a half inches, 14 centimetres. <laughs> yeah, by about six inches, um, 15 and a bit centimetres. Oh, my goodness. I mean, those bunnies are really, really cute and I do like my bunnies, but uh, yeah, this is very small and very thin for the money. But I suppose £6, well, okay. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, I've got a hot pink. Let's have a look at the gems and see what we've got. <laughs> oh, dear me. Fun and games. Right. 15. Actually, there's 15 different gems and colours, so yeah, okay, I'm probably being a bit unfair on it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so we've got a gold colour and a pale pink and a brownie colour there and a lovely clear crystal and another bit more of a bronzy colour and a peachy colour and a hot pink. And a couple of shades, oh, three shades of green. So we've got like the uh, grassy green and then like a jadey green and then like a lightly green. And then a little bit of mauve. And oh, another hot pink. That's a very bright hot pink. And then, oh my goodness me, look at those little teeny tiny teardrops. Wow, that is a big bag of those. They're going to take some doing. And then some little gold teardrops, teeny tinies, and some lilac teeny tiny teardrops as well. Oh my goodness, this is going to take some doing. Right, let me have a look where all these little teeny tinies are then. So I'm guessing they're going to be all these little flowers all around here. Oh my goodness me. Mind you, to be fair, although the bags look big, there's not actually that much to do because <laughs> it's not that big. <laughs> so 
so although you look at the bag and you think wow that's going to be a lot to do when you actually look at where they're going um there's not that many of them so yeah <laughs> so cute but very small put the chain in the packet with that one as well so i get them labeled up so let's have a look at the final one and this one's come in a diamond painting box as i say and oh this one's quite small as well <laughs> right standard toolkit pen boat and wax and we do have another chain so it's a hanging sign again this is something i've not seen on any other website um, oh it's one of these diy right. chains so you've got to put the uh, chain on yourself let me see if i can get this done so that i don't lose them okay that's one end on let's do the other one where's it gone it's there okay oops get my fingers working so that i can do this just loop that through there that's that so that's the chain on this looks about the same length that oh no that is longer than the bunnies yeah uh, so then we've got pen, boat and wax. Pop those back into the bag. Okay, so this one... Oh, I've got the extra bit of plastic there. Look as well. I can't do that again if I tried. <laughs> It just flicked and disappeared. Oh my goodness. Oh heck. <laughs> so I think all the others are punched out. Yeah, they are. <laughs> right. So as I say, I've not seen this one anywhere else. And this one says, Happy Halloween. Um, just a little hanging sign. Again, I expected it to be a little bit bigger, um, but it was £6.74. So just a little bit more than the wreath. Um, and the owls it's an acrylic one but it is the thicker acrylic let's see if i can show you yeah you can see how thin that one is yeah it's about half the thickness in fact less than half the thickness of like this is what i would class as like a standard acrylic piece so yeah but i just thought it was really good and um, we've got a ghost and a little goblin thing there and we've got an eyeball there and some pumpkins and oh, a very angry ghost there he's obviously uh, in a bad mood we've got a little bat up there and this looks like a little vampire bat it's got teeth and he's green so yeah i just thought that was just a little bit different as i say i tend to only get things from timu now if i don't see them anywhere else because you're never quite sure what they're going to be like when they arrive um hence the little bunny wreath because that's a lot smaller than i expected <laughs> I mean, they're all, you know, I suppose they're doing them for the price. In my opinion, I don't think particularly the diamond painting items are any cheaper than your standard diamond painting companies. Um, for what you get, I think they're probably comparable rather than a lot, lot cheaper. They do do some special offers and you can get some for a couple of pounds. But on the whole, if you are looking at the diamond painting things, I think they're about the same price. But uh, you do tend to, again, find things that are just that little bit different. So this one will actually go away for Halloween, obviously. Um, and I'll try and remember I've got it. <laughs> oh dear, that's not always good either. So the size of this one is seven and a half inches, 19 centimetres that way. By about four and a half ish inches, which is about 11 and a half ish inches. So yeah, quite small, but it is, there's a lot of detail on that actually for the size of it. I am pleased with that one. And the length of this chain is six. Uh, 17 and a quarter inches which is 44 centimeters so quite a bit longer than the bunnies but i suppose really if you had that dangling a long way down you'd probably not see it <laughs> right let's have a look at the gems and see what we've got so we have a 10 different gems and colors and a lovely clear crystal and a lemony colour there, and just stand 310 black, 
and a grassy green crystal and a deep purple crystal and a bronzy crystal and a nice icy blue crystal and then oh look we've got some uh, little rounds with uh, an iridescent coating and a star stamped into them there you are oh yeah we'll focus well done camera yep so they're pretty and then some green marquees with an iridescent coating on and then oh lots of little teeny tiny gold stars wow they are small they're pretty oh we've got a little square that's just sneaked in there as well so yeah nice gems on that one so i like that one okay pop those away and put the chain in with those as well okay well um the diamond painting things are a little bit hit and miss um they're okay for what i've paid for them i suppose um although i have had full side wreaths at that money from amazon and things so yeah i am very much i do believe that timu isn't the absolute cheapest place um for your diamond painting things but say so they do tend to have different things and i've not seen these two items anywhere else let me know if you've seen them anywhere uh, maybe i'm wrong but you know i do trying to try and find little different things um the other bits and pieces yeah they're fine and um, we'll give the brushes and everything a go um the little cork mats are a little bit thin um but i can say i can always stick two together for the price that i've paid for them so that's not too bad and the pens i do suspect that there's not a huge amount in them with them uh, having taken such a long time to load but you know as long as they work and they do what i want them to do it's not like i'm going to be doing huge projects with them i just want them as like little extras for bits and pieces when i'm doing projects so yeah all in all uh quite a, a reasonable haul i think it was around about the 30 pound mark for everything all together although possibly more because i did get my folder as well so yeah i'll have to i'll put it on the screen what the total of the order was but um you know happy i think we'll say not ecstatic but i am happy so <laughs> that's all you can ask for okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next then you can do that by pressing that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up and all that does is just send you a little message saying Liz has uploaded a new video. Do you want to come and see it? So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.